Uh, my name is Patrick, Patrick Chern. I am partner in Poetic Kinetics. We make large-scale kinetic art uh, for festivals like Coachella. We are very focused on creating things that are lightweight, incredibly structural, so they can't fail and fall or anything like that, and then as decorative and interesting and beautiful and dynamic as we can possibly make it. Last year uh, at Coachella, we had a 135-foot-tall orchid flower. Each year while we're there, we start thinking about the evolution of the thing we just built and how we might make it bigger or better or what we might do that could be a little bit different that would work well for that festival. So for this year's Coachella projects, we, we had the idea for a giant moving creature of some kind that was the subject of a time-lapse film. So we are creating a snail that will move through the Coachella festival at maximum speed, 22 feet a minute. So we spent about a month or so really just in front of the computers. One of the things we've got here is these maps to show our plan every day, where we're gonna go, where the cameras are gonna go, how long it's gonna take to go from one point to another. And we're making an animatic pre of the entire film, checking out different kinds of lenses to make it easier to shoot out there. And then we started bringing in a fabrication crew to start a lot of metal work, some woodworking. We're spitting out plywood discs hold it all rigid. And this is all being skinned with a translucent plastic so we can create these crazy shadow light shows from within at night. My name is Neil Everett and I am the fabric designer for Poetic Kinetics. I basically do what's called draping, which is the same thing you do in fashion. You take a model and you drape to fit. Because we're in a special situation and our project is so large, we don't have the chance to build the whole thing here. Every bit of it is stretch fabric, so I have to try and do that as exact as possible. It's like a large pillowcase and some sections are pushed in, so it gets very distorted. This last couple of weeks has been kind of final tweaking. Uh, we've had the forklift here now for about a week and a half and that has really enabled us to start putting things together and seeing exactly how they're gonna fit. In about a week, we'll load everything out to Coachella and we'll start our final build on site. You know, when you finally get to see what was that thing, I think it's gonna be really dynamic. I think it's just gonna fundamentally change the experience there to have this, this story, this crazy creature happening and this whole experience. Like, what if we got a graffiti team to come out in the middle of the event and assault the snail? Well, it's kind of having this meandering experience. So we were familiar with Heracute's work because they have done so much kind of in this community. And we were really pleasantly surprised when they got excited about the project and agreed to join us. My name's Hera, and I'm from Germany. I'm part of a street art duo called Heracute. And there's also a coot that he's painting the gigantic snail right now. We paint walls all over the world and actually right now we're working on a children's book. We could be working on a character like a snail, really fit into the giant storybook project that we're doing. The theme of all of this is a poem that um, we found in South Africa. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. You know, you don't only see one greyhound, but you see a snail with a lot of friends enjoying the festival, basically. It's just really beautiful to see all the different friends and the people who are working on this project and just taking creativity from something small scale to something so immense. Nothing like this has been done out here before, which is really exciting to be a part of, you know? Everything is new and it's very adventurous, really. I mean, we didn't really know what to expect and we're glad we went for it.